morning guys today is a lovely day well it's actually raining outside but it's a lovely day um i'm just doing my face because at 10 o'clock i have a seam event with Jo malone it's currently nine o'clock so i just had a shower and then i'm gonna also yeah yeah what happened to my camera um it's on a glass table so it's a bit slidey slidey um after i've been on my zoom event then i need to do the homeschooling so i thought i'd just vlog today because i haven't vlogged in a while and there's just a lot of things that i want to vlog about talk about i feel like i haven't done one in a while so it's vlog day today um i have absolutely been loving this eyeshadow palette this is the moonshot one it is absolutely gorgeous all of the colors inside are perfect i love it so much i'm gonna use it today i'm just gonna do a really easy simple makeup today because i'm only at home i'm only going on a zoom call and then i'm only vlogging with you guys not doing anything special so simple makeup and oh i've just washed my hair so it feels Mmm, the smell of fresh clean hair. Okay, let's finish this makeup. dried my hair just used my Dyson Airwrap um, I used the round brush for my fringe and then the straightening um, flat brush for the rest of my hair um, nice and clean love clean hair I haven't had clean hair in like a week which sounds gross but I'm actually trying to wash my hair less um, I'm gonna get changed now I'm not sure what to wear I think I'm just gonna put on some loungewear um because it's just a zoom call I've actually put on quite a bit of weight this lockdown anybody else I feel like this lockdown was the one that I ate the most maybe because it's winter so I was eating a lot of comfort food and then it was Christmas New Year's Chinese New Year Valentine's Day like it was a full of events of just eating so I feel like this lockdown I've actually Put on quite a bit of weight but that's okay like normally a year ago two years ago i might have been sad about it um because i was so caught up in body image but now i'm just like whatever like something like weight and body image is something that's in my control so it's something that i can actually change if i really wanted to so i think that when aiden goes back to school next week i'm gonna start doing exercise um maybe go for a jog take coffee for a longer walk um maybe like a two hour walk or something in a nice big park um just be more active because the weather wasn't great it was snowing it's been raining so we've just been like stuck indoors eating and doing not much else so it's it's kind of to be expected um but instead of being sad about it i'm just like whatever body body um weight and image is in my control so i can deal with that <laughs> um, so that's how i see it now i think i might just wear leggings because it's comfy and then also put on a jumper as well because it's quite chilly today i've got the windows wide open so that the bed can air out i need to make my bed as well as you can hear Aiden outside watching gaming videos and he's like laughing his head off it's so cute to watch him like enjoying himself watching youtube videos it's actually quite funny um i think i might wear this cardigan actually i haven't worn this cardigan yet this is the one that i got from uniqlo it's the um kind of 
of like Earth's Mini coloured one. How obviously I haven't worn it because I haven't been anywhere. I think it's a bit too nice to wear indoors. Um, I really want to like keep it as an outdoors cardigan because as soon as I start wearing it indoors and it becomes my kind of like lazy at home cardigan then that it stays like that. I feel like I can't wear it out again. It's a bit like wearing a t-shirt to sleep and then it becomes a sleep t-shirt like this one. This is an oversized, um, I'm not sure if you can remember, it's a nasty girl oversized like t-shirt but it's so big that I've ended up wearing it to sleep and it's so comfy that I just you know keep it like keep wearing it to sleep um so yeah I need to hope and get changed um I should stop talking so I've just got on this ASOS loungewear set which a lot of you guys love and a lot of you guys bought um it's just some joggers in the a top and uh, I put on a bit of a red lip because I felt like my face was lacking a bit of colour. It was looking a bit dead. Um, so I've put on a bit of colour. And guys, it looks like I've had a food baby. These joggers are not flattering when I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. But I'm just like, whatever. Um, I know that I put on weight when I wake up and my stomach isn't flat. Normally my stomach is the place on my whole body which is the easiest to control. So normally I wake up with quite a quite a flat stomach and that's how I know like that I put on weight because it's not flat anymore when I wake up and I feel bloated it's very rare for me to feel bloated when I wake up I feel bloated at night time usually when I've had dinner but it's very rare like I said for me to wake up feeling bloated and feeling kind of heavy and that's how I've been feeling for the past couple of weeks and I think it yeah it's just down to weight gain I guess um I think I just need to make better food choices because I've been eating a lot of crap really and a lot of junk and that's all my problem it's not anyone else's problem it's just my problem it's something like I said it's something I can control if I want to lose a few pounds and get my body back into shape and be a bit more healthy then that's up to me um, when the gym's open I can go back to the gym I can change my diet starting from today so that's all in my control but I'll show you my belly normally um, you guys have seen me like doing hauls and that my stomach is normally quite flat um, this is what it looks like now I haven't eaten or oh, I haven't eaten anything this is my morning stomach I know that some guys will be like oh that's not even nothing but compared to what I used to be and for me personally it's quite a big difference so I'll show you what it looks like now can you see this it, it goes out I know that a lot of people will be like oh that's nothing um, which yeah it really isn't that like bigger for belly but compared to what I used to be in and it's not even just how I look it's how I feel as well it's making me feel a bit crappy because I feel bloated um, I, I can't explain that feeling it's just that morning feeling when you wake up and you're feeling like why do I feel bloated when normally I wake up feeling light I feel hungry I feel I feel fine I don't know it's just yeah hmm it's such a good point about how to how to layer with the scent. So you take your signature scent, and that is your one scent, and then you add to it with different different moods and different seasons. You create these different pockets of space. Um, so I know that. So I just finished the um, Zoom event with Jo Malone and they actually sent over um, last week, they sent over two colours. One is my absolute favourite, this is Peony and Blush Suede. Actually they're both really good, they're both like staple Jo Malone colours. Um, this is Peony and Blush Suede and then this one is English Pear um, colour. This is actually the scent that I used on my wedding day. Um, it's so lovely. I have quite a little collection of Jo Malone stuff um, right now. They're really generous. Um, this event was for Mother's Day. So basically you could invite a friend or a sister or a mother um, to join the Zoom event. And they also received a little gift as well. So it was nice for them as well. Um, I love Jo Malone. I always really like, I don't know, like just certain brands that 
um yeah i don't know how to say this jumbler are very inclusive of all ages all races all like if there's an event they always put on a really good event like for mother's day and um and then there was one for a new launch and then i did like just special events just randomly throughout the year as a way to say thank you and i find that a lot of brands only send you stuff when they want you to promote their new products or new launches it, it's never just just because like actually i think yeah i would say keels is one of the brands that are really good at doing that as well so when the, when like it's been a few months they'll send you your favorite products and be like oh thanks for using our products here's a top up like just because it wasn't because they've got a new launch and they want you to post about it or anything like that just put on some falsies i use the adele double ups they look like this so basically they're like single lashes but like thick like little fans so i use uh, three on each eye i just forgot how different falsies can make you look um I haven't worn falsies in a long time and honestly they just really open up the eyes and make them look so much more like alive and yeah I just haven't been wearing falsies because what's the point but I might have to start wearing falsies again <laughs> look like this they're not as heavy as false strips uh, so I think I could probably cut one there as well make them single instead um, but yeah quite like these just finished doing the content for Instagram and that I'm now making Aiden some lunch he wants some um, cheese and ham tortilla wrap toasted you know like kind of like the um, what's it called the TikTok thing when you fold it into um, quarters I actually bought myself flowers yesterday I bought these roses so pretty I got peach color and white um, I thought it would make a nice contrast to have two different colours together and um, there were two for five pounds from Morrison's bargain I also think that one of the reasons why I'm so feeling so bloated and sluggish is because I've always been quite cautious of what I eat I know that I shouldn't be eating dairy but I've actually been eating a lot of cheese recently um, so like packet cheese and I've been eating a lot of rice which I know I shouldn't eat too much of because it just my body doesn't agree with it and this is how i feel um but i've just been eating anything and everything even things that i'm tolerant intolerant to, to i yeah maybe i should just like have, have a look at my diet and change some things this is what it looks like when it's toasted it's so good it's honestly Eden's favorite way to eat a sandwich now so the mozzarella inside is all nice and melty and then the ham is warm but then the outside is crispy so I'm going to give Aiden the not so um, toasted side uh, side, side uh, just because it's healthier um, yeah so look at all that melted cheese so for lunch he's got a yoghurt this is a munch munch yes darling okay um, he's got some uh, clementines and then he's got some of these crisps uh, which are these they're the eat real hummus sour cream and chives i know you love these me too mummy loves these too these are just like a we both do these are just like a healthier alternative to crisps um and then he's got a cloudy apple juice so yeah really simple dinner um this is aiden's favorite kind of lunch he just loves simple stuff so Lunchtime, darling. I don't know what to eat myself. Yeah, you can. Rex is 13p. Mm -hmm. T Rex is how much? 10p. 10p. Giraffe is. Mm -hmm. How much is giraffe? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8p. Pterodactyl is. 5p. 5p. A mini pterodactyl is. 2p. 2p. It's just not very strong. No, it's not. So you've got 20p. I mean that one. I mean, I mean the big T-Rex. <laughs> okay, listen. Mm -hmm. You've got 20p. So the big ones are two p's. Mm -hmm. So how much have you got there? If they're two p's. One, two, three, four. Vitamin time. Currently eating two vitamins. This one is the multi multivitamin from Centrum. 
um, it's just like a cherry, berry and orange flavour gummy just two a day and it's really easy to remember to take them and then this one is by HUM um, it's called Glow Gummies with Benefits it's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin C and vitamin E in just two gummies per day um, and it makes a big difference to the skin although my skin has been breaking out so much I actually have it covered quite well today so you can't really tell but I'll show you when I do my skincare routine tonight um, I think it's just what I've been eating like I said my diet has been terrible um, I've been eating a lot of spicy stuff and fried stuff and I just finished my period as well so my skin is just the worst it's ever been um, in the past year or so I'll show you later tonight when I turn my makeup off but yeah two of these home glow gummies as well mmm it's so good so I'm gonna do my evening skincare routine now it has changed just a little bit not too much there's a few products that I've started using and really enjoy and then there's some that are like classic staples I need to um, take these oh take these lashes off first because I do want to reuse them so I don't want to get them like dirty by getting makeup remover on them so yeah they came off quite easily actually so I'm going to keep them put them to the side How different my eyes look without lashes it just looks a little bit better um, I'm gonna use my all-time favorite Nivea eye makeup remover I've been using this for years now um, it's honestly one of the best so oh I forgot to take my contacts out let me take my contacts out first because these contacts like to run away which sounds really weird but when I start rubbing my eyes I literally go to the back of my eyeball and that always freaks me out so I always have to remember to take them out before I start rubbing my eyes or else I end up with a contact lens at the back of my eyeball and yeah it, it is as scary as it sounds I absolutely freak out when that happens so for my main makeup remover I'm going to use a uh, vanilla and co Clean It Zero. It's one of the most popular Korean kind of like makeup removers. It's really well known. I'm pretty sure some of you know about it already. Um, I've used it before and it's honestly one of the best kind of like um, inexpensive makeup removers. Um, it's not that inexpensive. I think it's about 16, 17 pounds I think or no more than 20 quid I think. Um, but compared to ones that are like 25, 30 quid, um, they're more expensive so I just take a small amount and do 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 all over the face and I've got a um, cushion compact on today with a lot of concealer because like I said earlier I've been breaking out a lot so I've got a lot of um, base makeup to take off so what I like to do when I've got a lot of base makeup on is actually do this step twice. Um, oil control cleanser um, I've been using this because I've been breaking out so I just want to like control the oil on my face a little bit better it literally smells like tea tree oil so slather that up make sure the face is nice and clean Nice and 
Okay, I'm gonna go in with fresh um, facial treatment essence. This is really good. It's really moisturizing. It just helps me balance my skin. Um, similar to like a toner, but it's obviously an essence. So you just put it straight onto the skin. And it smells like roses, obviously. <laughs> um, it's just so nice. Makes the skin feel really, really good. And then, once that's kind of like sinking in, I like to go in with eye cream. I'm still using the Shiseido um, eye cream. This is the Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. Yes, darling? Oh, you see Warwick? Okay, you play with him then. Yeah, then play Roblox and his friend is online. Um, so, eye cream. Still really enjoying this one. Yeah? By accident. Oh, be careful then. Next, I'm gonna go in with a serum. This is by The Corte. Um, as you can see, I've used quite a bit. I've been using this for about a few months now. Um, and you just use two pumps and that's it. And it's just like an extra boost of hydration. You always start with my cheeks because that's where my skin gets the most dry. And then I just spread it everywhere. And then once that is synced in a little bit, I use the Biosense um, Retinol Serum. Um, again, been using this for a few months now, really enjoy it. Um, I'm definitely going to finish this one soon. Um, yeah, it's almost nearly at the bottom. Again, lay that on top. Starting with the cheeks. And then, normally I put my lip balm and hand cream on just before I'm about to sleep and I'm obviously not going to sleep yet but because I've been breaking out I've started using the Kit Summerfell blemish treatment and it looks like this it really reminds me of the Mario Badescu um, blemish treatment as well Mario Badescu has something very similar and it comes in a glass jar as well so um, I'm not sure if you guys let me zoom you guys in look at all of that scarring so there's one spot here, one spot here, one spot here um, the rest has healed, so these are all healed, it's just this one and this one that's still active, uh, this one's healed as well, so I've got quite a lot of scarring, um, normally it goes quite quickly, I, I would say, like my skin reacts to skincare products quite quick, but it's just, yeah, it's a lot compared to, um, you guys know what my skin is normally like, um, for the past year or so, my skin has been really, really good, so to break out this much, um, is kind of like oh um so that blemish treatment i'm just gonna dot it onto the okay my friend's ringing 